is a Chamber of Commerce afternoon here in the Peach State of Georgia. We've got the roof open, wide open, and we are ready for football at Mercedes-Benz Stadium. We thought the old place was loud somehow. This place got even louder a short time ago as the Falcons were introduced to this sellout crowd. We're set to go as the Falcons get ready to match up with the Carolina Panthers. And he'll be brought down at the 28-yard line, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone gets him three more. On play action, now Rodgers. This is Chase Claypool out of receiving him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll contain him to just four. Second down. Defensively here, you're facing a top five team in terms of points scored in the NFL. So when they're that high power, you've got to find a way to hold them under 20. Because to me, that's the magic number. 20 points scored, give yourself your, you give yourself your best chance to win. So if they're up around 24, 28, 30, they could be in some trouble. And I think so, because then you turn it into a shootout. And that means your offense has to keep pace. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On play action, it's Rodgers. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. Partner, he was going through his progressions. Not there, not there. After about the third one, he decided he better pull it down and run for it. And he slides down and avoids the hit for good measure. On first and ten, here's Rodgers. And he will find Ridley on the left side. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. Well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. It was Jaron Reed who got him down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Throwing now is Rodgers. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. And the Falcons are going to have a first and goal coming up as the tackle made at the three-yard line. Of course we think of Aaron Rodgers as a pocket passer, but you and I both know this guy's a pure athlete. He can get outside and make plays with his legs as well. Yeah, showed it right there outside of the pocket and on the money. Rodgers now to throw. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways called as penalties. Hines. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Naeem Hines, his 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Falcons take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Two able to connect on the extra point, and it's now a 7 0 game. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22.
They go play action here on first down. Buying time to his left. And he wisely would throw that one away. These two teams, they met in Atlanta earlier in the year with the Falcons winning that game. So a win here in Atlanta would give them the season sweep. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw. Sheldon getting this out to the flat. Mostert. And he'll get this up past the 25 before he's out of bounds. Five yards. Now it's third and five. And I like the idea here. Get the ball in his hands, even if it's in the passing game. Three catches a week ago, and he does a nice job here to pick up yardage. Off the play fade. Sheldon steps away to his left. And he'll just get rid of it. So the defense able to get off the field here on third down. And it's one of the goals of the game. They've got to be effective on passing downs. It's one of the few things defenses chart. How did we do on third down? That's a nice start for them in this one. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. 42 yards on the punt, just two on the return. And the Falcons will be taking over first and ten. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And coming up on their second drive of the game, had the touchdown last time out. Now they have the football back. Chance to really seize early momentum. Feels to me like they had a really excellent week of practice. It all came into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. T.J. Green with a pick. And they will finally get him as he's all the way down near the 40-yard line. So they will tread backward on the holding penalty. And I know that they're going to get coached up and they'll get yelled at a little bit, but let's face it, it is hard not to do at the speed and pace that they play. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, I'm not sure he saw the linebacker there as that's batted down and incomplete. Receiver coaches preach to their guys all the time. Separation, that's what's going to make the play successful. That time there was very little, and I think they were actually fortunate that it was only knocked away and not intercepted. Off play action. Sheldon. And that's complete. Albert Okuebuna. And he takes this one down almost all the way to the 30. A big play that time on the catch and run. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes, your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. First carry for Raheem Mostert. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Back to throw. Sheldon. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught inside the five. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Well, that's what we're used to seeing from him right there. Plays like that, why he's number four in the league in terms of receiving yardage. Able to make adjustments all along the way. And he is in. Touchdown, Carolina. Raheem Mostert. His 17th touchdown now on the season. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And that will tie our score here in this opening quarter of play. So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. Naheem Hines now out of his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And that last drive, a long drive. But not just that. They had a great air attack going. Do they stick with that? I would think that they would because if they were confident enough to do it on the last drive, starting backed up in their own territory, why would you change anything? They've got to be confident about what they're presenting and continue to do so. Yeah, because the secondary, they really look clueless. And that was amazing because that drive went and went. No adjustments and no big plays by the defense to knock the ball away. Now a 
D. Boyle going to be caught here near midfield. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A big play that time through the air. 31 yards. The big play has them all the way out near midfield for a first and 10. These two teams all tied after one. Rodgers now on first down. Claypool with another catch. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. So from Panther territory now, it's first and 10 at the 41. Now it's Rodgers. Throw right side is going to be caught by Samuel. And some room to work. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley, and it's second down. You and I watched film yesterday, and you told me to watch his feet. Well, yeah, for whatever reason, his footwork just looked off on that throw. And you always love it when an ex-defensive back talks quarterback mechanics, right? Well, but you're good at it. Well, I, I try, all right? I don't know how good I am, but it doesn't take much to tell. His mechanics are off a little bit, exactly what you described. Footwork, that led to the incompletion. To throw again on second down, Rodgers. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. He's certainly done a nice job spreading the field on this drive, and here he finds his big tight end for good yardage. And that's what you have to do. Keep defenses guessing about where you're going to go with the football. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. Naeem Hines with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Falcons have taken the lead. Extra point by Koo up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And tackled at the 21 yard line. So a net negative there of four yards. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. They trail a one-score deficit, 14-7, as they come up first and 10. He'll get that complete to Albert O. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So a decent gain, but all for naught on the penalty. It's too bad, isn't it? They were feeling pretty good about it. The only people celebrating, the guys who just gave up that play. Looking to throw. Sheldon. The catch made by DeAndre Hopkins. And oh, he sheds a tackle. Now he's got some space. And mark him down way up close to the 40 at the 39. A big play there on the catch and run. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route. Just trying to free up some space. And it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Pretty nice work defensively there on the first down run as they hold him to a gain of a couple. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. From the gun, Sheldon. He'll dump this one off to Hubbard. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back and it can turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. 
And he will slide to a stop. He does have the first down. When they watch film of this game and hand out the grade sheets, he's going to really like getting a double plus on this play. Why? He scrambles and picks up a first down. But what else does he do? Protects himself by sliding and avoiding the big hit. Double plus, big time play. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. Tackled there by Monte Nicholson. Off the play fade. Sheldon. He's going to look deep for more. And this is caught right along the sideline. What a job of keeping the toes in bounds there. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Panthers. Albert Okue Buna with touchdown number eight on the year. And the Panthers are now an extra point away from tying up this game. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And we are tied here in the second quarter. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, carry that confidence into this one. Doesn't matter where you start with the football now, they have to feel great about their opportunity. Plenty of shouts from this crowd as they watch the replay. They want a challenge and they're going to get one. So the challenge, not a successful one, as this will stay an incomplete pass. He's going to air one out. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by J.C. Horn. And he's able to get it back here to the 43-yard line. And we'll remind you that coming up at halftime, we'll join Jonathan Coachman and the gang in Orlando. Coach will have stats and scores from the early games going on here around the NFL. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Trey Hendrickson in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Boy, that's tough, Charles. First play of the drive, you're hoping to stay ahead of schedule. You take that huge sack, and now you're facing second and a mile. And the entire time, you were probably thinking the same thing I was. Either get rid of the ball safely, of course, or go down. The yardage he gave up on that play, that's going to be tough for them to make up. And that was yardage that they needed there after the sack on first down. They didn't get all of it back, but now they look at third down as a manageable situation, one that they have a much better chance of picking up. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Operating from the gun, Sheldon. And that's complete to the right side, it's Marshall. Touchdown, Carolina! Terrace Marshall with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Panthers have broken our tie as they take the lead. Gonzalez able to tack on the PAT. And the lead is now 21-14. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Play action. Now it's Rodgers. Flushed out right. 
That's going to be caught by Pitts. And yeah, he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. The Falcons going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. So a big play as it gets them all the way down to the 20 now for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Rodgers to throw once more. Open man is Samuel, complete. And he's brought down after a very nice game. Falcons going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Rodgers with a keeper, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Aaron Rodgers. As the first half is winding down, and the Falcons have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. Two able to connect on the extra point, and we are tied here in the second quarter. A couple of teams locked into a good one here. 21 all the score as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And they will not really have time to do much of anything. 15 seconds, all that remains before halftime. He's going to look deep for more, and it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. And I think they'd be well served to take that type of a physical approach against him the rest of the game. He's had his way so far, but on that last one, that worked quite well for the defense. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Off play action, Sheldon. Going back to Moore. This time he's got him complete. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. A final shot before break. Sheldon dancing to his left. Now he's going to throw deep back over the middle. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. So we've reached halftime here. Charles has already thrown off his headset. He's out here. He says, it's Christmas Day. I'm going home. We're not done yet, though. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Okay, Coach. Yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate that this is a tie game. No need to panic. No need to change a whole lot. We didn't play anything close to our best in the first half, so we don't have to go out and win one for the Gipper. Let's just go out and play our best football and win one for us. Off the play fade, Sheldon. For Marshall, that's complete. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. I tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. Off play action. Sheldon. That's complete. Okue Buna. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough 
Spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Now a throw here to his running back. So five yards here, five on the play. And it'll make it second down. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers, tight ends, because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On second down, Mostert. And very little running room there. He did get a couple up to the 49. Stay on the ground with Mostert. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. There's the Panthers punter now. As he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch signaled for and taken at about the 15-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And we have seen a lot on the scoreboard here in this quarter. So you, you, sometimes you talk to me about tendency breakers on offense. These defenses struggling. Are there tendency breakers on defense? All defensive coordinators keep something in their hip pocket for these types of situations. What can we do to slow down the onslaught? But the biggest thing is make sure these guys encourage each other, pick themselves up, because right now, it's been a really tough ball game trying to stop these offenses. Oh, it really has, especially as of late. They're going to run this with a tight end. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. On play action. Now Rodgers. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. This, the second meeting of these two teams, you might recall, they met back in week five. And it was the Falcons getting the road victory in that one. So they'll look to finish off the season sweep here in Atlanta. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. They do get a yard there, but only a yard. Leaves him with third and nine looming. Here's Rodgers. Oh, he's hit. He lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And it's picked up by the Panthers. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. And that, Charles, you'd have to think a pretty avoidable mistake. You're exactly right about that, partner, because it all comes down to covering up the football. Look, turnovers are going to happen. They're inevitable. But in a tie game in the third quarter, those turnovers can change the tide of the ball. He's got it for a Panther touchdown. And he takes it down deep into enemy territory. Gonzalez to add the PAT. And it's good. That makes it a 28-21 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. About set to begin their next drive, the Falcons offense at the line. And they had the fumble last time that led to a touchdown. That's a no-no. We'll see what they do here this go around. A big no-no. Put that in capital letters. Turning it over, the other team takes it down and scores. That could be a deflator for a football team. Now it's up to the offense to get back out on the field and pick things up. Uh, they're out there. We'll see if they can pick those things back up. Third quarter action here on Christmas Day. Hope everyone's having a blessed holiday season. Second and ten right now. Now a deep ball here, hauled in just past the 50. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. Now he came into this game within shouting distance of Dan Marino at 61,361 career yards. And with that last play, Charles, he just went past Dan Marino. I'm struggling over here. 
and the only reason is when you hear about him passing a Dan Marino, a legend, makes you step back and really take stock of his career, and you realize it's not just about the numbers, it's about the accomplishments, it's about the play. How great has his career been to pass Dan Marino's? I'd say pretty darn great. And this is caught for a Falcon touchdown. Chase Claypool with touchdown number seven on the year. Now the Falcons are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point by Koo, up and good. And that will tie our game here in the third. So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. And their lead has evaporated in this third quarter. It's tied once more as they begin with a first and 10. And he'll go down at the 26 following a gain of six. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw on second down. Sheldon, he's going to look deep for more. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he's in for the score. And his spectacular season continues as he ties the NFL touchdown record. He is phenomenal. Gonzalez good on the extra point. And they will take a seven-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Gonzalez on to kick it away. Out of the end zone, here comes Hines. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. Rodgers now on first down. That's complete to Hines out of the backfield. And he takes us up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. One quarter remains here in week 16. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Here's Rodgers to throw. Finds Hines again for the completion. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. As this old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. Throwing again on second and ten. Rodgers got his man complete over the middle. That's Hines. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Panthers 33. Like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. Again, they'll throw with Rodgers. Space to run past the 20. 
And he's going to get it all the way down to the 10-yard line. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Rodgers going to throw. And this is caught. For the moment, it's a touchdown, but multiple flags down. So let's sort this out. Coup for the extra point. And no sweat. He puts it through. And we are tied here in the fourth. Set to go now with the kickoff. These two teams all even again as we continue in this wild fourth quarter. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Throwing on first down. Sheldon. And a catch made by Hopkins. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. When you see zone defense and you know you've got a drag route on as your primary call, you've got to be really careful as a passer about how far you let your guy go because he might wander into some tough coverage. And he's able to take this one up to the 35-yard line. Brandon, I think you and I were both raised the same way in the game of football. You run to set up the pass, but I think we've discovered in this NFL, a lot of teams pass to set up the run. And that's what they've done throughout this game. They've aired it out, thrown it around the yard. Now they've come back to the running game, and they find a way to be successful with it. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Seven yards, the pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. To throw on second down. Sheldon over the middle and into the hands of his receiver, Moore. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 44-yard line. And partner in a tie game in the fourth quarter, you and I both know in the NFL, that's when you lean on your stars. And he came through with a nice catch right there. Now a throw here, hauled in. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And, and he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. So after the sack here, second and 14. Back to throw. Sheldon being chased out left. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. Oh, I like that right there. Not only was it the right play, throwing it away like that, frankly, I think it was the only play. Yeah, got outside of the pocket, realized he had nothing, just chucked it free. Yeah, lived to fight another down, right? Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Buying time to his left. And yeah, this pass broken up. Excellent coverage there on third down as that was not an easy one to hold on to. Well, he certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you. You didn't jinx it. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Rodgers sliding to a stop with a first down. How many 
times have we seen this late in the fourth quarter? Because you know the pass rush is getting after him, and they get upfield, get that great push, and what do they create? Space, and he takes off. So it's Falcon football as we welcome you back. They come up on a first and ten, desperately needing a score here on what could be their final drive. Now Rodgers. And this would have been intercepted if he could have gotten the feet in. He didn't, so it's incomplete. Boy, that one really could have turned this thing upside down. I guess you can't be afraid to take those chances late in the game. He tried to fit that one in there. Nice job, though, defensively. But to your point, it was a nice job of knocking the ball away. But you're also right. You can't be afraid to take those chances. That means your guys going downfield to catch the ball, they've got to elevate their game and come down with these in order to keep your offense moving. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. So back-to-back -back incompletions, now third and ten. And first things first, before you think about marching the ball down the field, you got to move the chains. You're exactly right. Got to get back into focus here. Get the first down. That's what's vital to them. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. Back to throw, Rodgers. Escaping the pressure right. Open man completes it to Claypool. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A big connection on that one. 30 yards. And this is obviously a spot where you lean on your stars. Get the ball to them in open space and let them do what they do. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. Rodgers throw taken in by Ridley here. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. In need of only about the length of the football here on second down. They run with Hines. And they'll bring him down at the 18-yard line. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Rodgers to throw. He'll check this down to Hines. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. That's what they need right now. Get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Just playing smart football, understanding the situation, making the plays necessary, and making sure that clock stops at every opportunity. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. Now the Falcons going to use one of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. They'll try to run with Hines. And he's across for the touchdown, and it's likely the game winner here in the closing stages. Now Youngway Koo for the extra point. Touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked out officially at the 21. Panthers out there and ready to begin their next drive. Critical condition here, obviously. Got to hope to get something quick right and then maybe take that shot deep. And once they do take the big shot, you've got to worry on defense. Of course, no one getting behind the defense and make it an easy throw. But nowadays, it's not just the ball being tipped in the air and people in the end zone in a cluster. It's that guy that's short of the yeah. end zone who comes up and ends up making the play because he goes unguarded. So there's a lot to think about if you're playing defense in this situation. We'll see if they can cover all their bases. Looking left side, that's caught by Moore. Now they do indeed get the timeout, so all is not lost. They'll have a chance for one final heave to the end zone. So look 
at this. Here's the field goal unit coming out. And he is going to need to bomb this one. This to cut the lead to one. Does he have the distance? He does. It's good. My goodness, he hits it from the parking lot. His time expires. And that'll bring him back within a point. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end.